Good morning. It's good to see you today. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas at home with your family and friends. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new year that is just a few days away. 2020 has been a very difficult and challenging year and I'm excited to say that it is almost behind us. Hooray! And we are going to be calling our new year 2021. I was going through some things in the garage and I found one of these really fun tiki torches. I'm sure you've seen these before. And I tried to go and light it so I could enjoy some time outdoors, but there doesn't seem to be any fuel left in this lighter. So I'm kind of thinking, oh gosh, it's been a while since I've used one of these. In fact, all the oil is empty. It has no fuel left to burn. At the end of a long and difficult year, some of us may be feeling empty and that we have nothing left, but we have a new opportunity to start a new year. I've got lots of fuel here to put in this tiki torch to make it burn bright for the entire year. Boys and girls, this is what Jesus Christ does for us. Jesus is the light of the world. And whether your light is very small, you might be very young and be feeling very small, that one light, it says in the book of John, chapter eight, verse 12, that Jesus is the light of the world. And that's what the Holy Spirit does for us too. Just like a battery is required for the flashlight to work, we need to have the Holy Spirit inside of us so that our light can burn bright for others to see. One of my favorite children's books is this one here, Lumi the Light Learns to Shine. If you'd like to borrow it, just come see me or you can check it out at the library. And Lumi was feeling very sad, but she started to find her light and Lumi felt the presence of her heavenly father and created and these Bible verses came to her, and I'd like to share those with you today. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a candle and put it under a bush, but on a candlestick. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Glorify your Father in heaven. That's from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. This is the good word that I want you to remember this brand new year, that Jesus fills us up and he gives us the fuel that, so that we can shine bright for others to feel his love. Happy New Year, everyone. Loving God, we are so grateful that you have carried us through this entire year, that you have taken care of our family and friends, that we were able to celebrate your birthday for your son, Jesus. God, we ask a special blessing as we go into this brand new year, that you fill us with enough light to shine bright for the entire world to see. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.